Hi, do you know what a geopark is? I'm filming one today. Come along and I'll show you. In geoparks, you find incredible geodiversity. Geodiversity? That's the natural part of the planet that is not alive, like rocks, minerals, fossils, hills and valleys, rivers and lakes. Geologists study these features for clues about the Earth's distant past. A bit like detectives. Pretty cool, huh? Some geodiversity is hard to see though because it's underwater. That is why snorkeling and diving are such great activities. They let us see rocks, reefs and caves that lie under the sea. Lots of animals too. Turtles, fish, crustaceans, even corals are animals. Hi, what are you doing? We brought our class to this geopark as it can teach the kids a lot about volcanoes and has great hiking trails. What type of volcano is this? <laughs> Don't worry, this volcano is not active. It is not about to erupt. I may move on regardless. These volcanic soils are so fertile. You can grow just about anything here. This blowhole formed in the cavity left underground by lava as it rose to the surface during the volcanic eruption long ago. Incoming waves race along cavities like these, generating enough pressure to form blowholes. The tourist attractions in this geopark are amazing! Why don't you join us? We are preparing a feast on hot stones. Would love to, but I have to keep moving. What are those rocks going to be used for? Some will go to build a new road. Others will be used to fix our church. And what about that fish trap over there? That was built a hundred years ago. This exhibition sounds great. It explains how climate change is reshaping the landscape of this geopark and how sea level rise is causing erosion. I want to see that. Okay, let's go. Phew, that was close. Time to head home. That geopark was a pretty cool place. I would love to live here or come for a holiday. I have learned so much about how local people use local stone to build, for cooking, and even to trap fish. And I had no idea that volcanoes made the land so fertile. So you see, our geological heritage is just as precious as our biological and cultural heritage. All three need preserving. And geoparks are such fun places to visit. The Pacific is so much more than just sun, sand, and sea.